Hello. Welcome to One Who Seeks. Alright, today we're going to do the daily spread, MJ's daily spread. This is going to be about your energy, the other person's energy, and the energy of the relationship. Okay. I'm going to invite the angels in. And the good energy is allowed in this space. Thank you for guiding us. I'm grateful for you. Thank you for always protecting us and leading us on our path. I invite you to come sit with us and have me be a clear and open channel for your guidance. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, and thank you all for being here today. That one who seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking today? Okay, this is a relationship spread. This could be having to do with love. This could be career. This could be family. Um, take it as it resonates. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm using the light series tarot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this reading is for the collective. Take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. This is about your intuition just as much as it is about mine. Please take a look at the cards and see any signs or symbols that may stick out to you in the images. Mm -hmm. All right, what is the energy for today in regards to relationship? This is your uh, underneath card, which are things unknown. That is the high priestess. The high priestess is all knowing, so um, it's kind of an oxymoron. All right. Okay. your person. This is the relationship. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, beautiful. And I'm gonna pull the overreaching energy. Position. All right, so this is you here. You're contemplating something. Which way to go? What is going to be your game plan for survival? You're walking towards new horizons.
Okay, this other person is just having a good time. They're very confident. They don't care about what's going on around them. They're surrounded by this passion. They have a lot of courage, a lot of heart. They're able to contain um, their emotions, their actions, right? And they're in this protective bubble. Nothing can hurt them. Things ending, new beginnings, kind of floating in the air, just having a good time, having a lot of courage and strength and confidence. And together, this person's going to bring you a lot of joy. And you have to take the leap of faith. You are protected. And you're going to have unity with this person. Maybe even some passion. Maybe you share the same passions. Maybe it is a lover. There's some magic happening here. This person is your protection to help you survive. And it's going to bring a lot of balance and all knowing. Okay, it's beautiful. And then this card here, this is your timing card. I'm not sure. Let's see the strength card. If that even has, yeah, strength card. Okay, so it's a Leo. So it's going to be mid July to mid August. What's your timing on that? Mm hmm. Who is this other person? This is a, a lover, something to do with careers, this family. Yeah, this could even be a child here that's bringing you all this joy and love. You know, children don't really care about what other people think. They just say what's on their mind. This is kind of that free spirit of a child. Who is this other person to you? Nine of Pentacles, your strength, your wisdom. And the risks that you take. Somebody who's protecting you and bringing you messages and having you turn the wheel, taking a risk, making new choices based on the information that you have now, your concrete information. It's about your resurrection messages calling to you to take a risk because they're going to be your strength can you take right now to find your direction solitude 
learning, fast action, strength, courage, pick a side, pick your battles, and um, another type of resurrection here, transformation. Just go inward to help you lead your path because this is about survival. It's life or death, fighting to the death. Give yourself the solitude. Learn about these battles. what really is life and death, right? Because when you spin the wheel, this is a risk that you're taking. It doesn't necessarily mean it's life and death, though. Have the wisdom enough to know the difference. This person's really balancing you out, helping you, protecting you. This could be like a, a bodyguard. This could be a lover. This could be a, a mother. All right, you got these two feminine figures here. You know, baby bird pushing you out of the nest. Take a chance, spin the wheel, see what happens. Mm-hmm. Four of wands. 11 11 at the bottom here you're in alignment with your path this person is going to help you find yourself and you're going to become one Okay, what are the blocks to this situation? Is there anything blocking the situation? The emperor, maybe you're a little too cocky. You definitely have a lot of confidence. You're feeling like I can survive on my own. I can find my own way. I'm very confident. I've gotten myself this far. I have my my animal friends here with me. Just need to connect with Mother Nature and the animal beings. Mm. All right, and then what are the actions I can take in this situation to get this outcome? The lovers. All right, so this is a lover. All right. Somebody who loves you mm, can still be a mother. Yep, it's definitely a mother. All right, or a love situation. Somebody's pregnant. You have this divine love. You're creating something new together to create all this joy. Even though you can do it on your own, you can't have a baby on your own. You need this counterpart, right? But you can survive on your own. You're independent. All right, 
what are the messages this person's higher self wants to share with me? What do they want me to know? Two of Cups, which is the Lover's card again. Six of Swords. Okay, they're putting down old emotions. Um, old thought patterns. Six of Pentacles. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen this card before. This reminds me of uh, Cinderella a little bit. You know, with all of her little bird friends. They're helping her put it in the basket. And the Seven of Wands. This person's going to protect you. Yeah, so you can be creative and gather your fruits. We're putting down these old mindsets, these old limiting beliefs to bring you love and to protect you so that you can be abundant. And how will the situation play out? In Leo season. Six of Cups, your inner child. Strength. Ten of Wands. And the world. You're going to get rid of these limiting beliefs and connect with your inner child. You're going to have the courage to move forward. Pack it up. You're going to be moving somewhere in the world, somewhere else. You're going to be moving in your mind. You're going to be physically moving to a place of peace and calm and joy. What can I learn from the situation? There's the magician, magician again, two of them. Knight of Swords. This is very fantastical. It's about becoming feminine. Maybe having more nurturing nature to yourself. Right? Because you're in the survival mode. Become more nurturing. Then you create the magic. Fake it till you make it. Right? You're holding on really tightly to your possessions here. Staying very much to yourself because only you can know the secrets of how you do things, right? And then we have manifestation, fast movement, unicorns. need to learn to let go of this rigid feeling become more loose have the energy flowing in one direction so all your manifestations all your wishes all your dreams it's going to be quite magical 
that you got to learn how to let go a little bit and loosen up become a little more nurturing and supportive all right and then uh, how can I support this outcome Flipping the cards upside down. Three of Wands, the Fool, the Hanged Man. Really go inward, shine your light outward, take the leap of faith again. And here's the Fool again. The Magician and the Fool, we got twice. Major Arcana. It's a big, big change in your life to see things from another perspective to take the leap of faith to go inward so the magic can happen be a little bit more playful take the road unknown this path that she's on there's different obstacles right she has all these ribbons here and he's tied up in these ribbons you're, you're tying them down right to bring in this love or make him see in another perspective see where you're coming from He came from over there, you're coming from over here. Check it out. This is my inner light. I'm going to show it to you, even if I have to hold you down. Creative babies protect the galaxy from fear. Some situations in life can summon immense amounts of fear. Fear can be a scary bitch, even more terrifying than the ass of a dead rhino. Fortunately, from fear's perspective, you are also the scariest mofo in the galaxy. Why? because you have the power to create new life through voice, writing, visual expression, physical babies, and pure energetic inspiration. Your creations will reap positive influence and help demolish fear long after your body pieces out. Whenever you feel scared, start grooving and shaking out some creative babies. The fear gremlins will run their lives will run for their lives. Long live the creative. All right, here's your pregnancy here. Bugs. Gnats flying in my face. Maybe that resonates for someone. All right, creating this, this magic from this knowing. Tiger's eye, overcome your fears. <laughs> it's a lot about fear, right? This is why this person's coming to protect you. Courts, Lumerian courts, practice patience. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this person here is 
driving you crazy because they're hanging upside down. I mean, you did tie them up and put them there. But maybe it's because you were being impatient with them. Agate. Get back into balance, right? Turquoise, prioritize your health. All right, you're pregnant here. So you're growing something new, you're growing a, a new love, growing a baby. You're being protected. And you have the courage, right? We did get a bunch of strength and courage in here. Divine courage is not the absence of fear, but a nudge that says, keep going, do it, don't worry. All will be well. You have to get quiet enough to hear it. Dear divine, may I feel your courage and your will, right? So many cards here now. Courage. Courage. To keep going. Right? Nudge yourself. This is your inner child. Nudging yourself to move forward to get here. Two here. Love and empowerment. It's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that always, I always remember. I myself am love. There's your inner child again. Right? Empowerment. When you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It's a force of inner love that wants your whole wholeness and magnificence. Unfold my true and radiant self, dear Lord. Right? Your true and radiant self. Trust your innocence. See? It's a lot about your inner child here. You need to heal these wounds. Put them down. Trust your innocence. Now this is also the full. Your childlike expression. Your innocence. Mm -hmm. Throat chakra. Express your truth. And the full spectrum. Align your chakras. For this transformation to happen. Visions here. Rose Quartz, self love. I approve of myself and love myself deeply and completely. Right. Clear Quartz, clarity. I have clarity in all aspects of my life. 
Alright, you're getting rid of all this old limiting beliefs. You're getting clarity and self-love, which is going to bring in love. And Ruby, shine. It's time for me to shine. And Ruby is also the um, the Cancer's gemstone. July, June, July. Okay. Well, this is a beautiful reading, everyone. Thank you for being here today at One Who Seeks. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you found it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe so that others can see this message as well. Thank you for being here. I thank our angels for being here and sitting in with us and guiding us. And as always, I will see you later.